Thank you Activision for letting us come out to Call of Duty XP, me and the whole Z house. It is fucking 1 p.m. Jack. Wake the shit up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> So what's up guys, two very tired, depressed, but anxious teenagers here, one named Jack and one named Lex, and today we are going to be talking to you guys about IW Zombies, we're in the hotel room, we've done nothing but sleep. This dude walks in in my room, <laughs> 10 in the morning, I hear this slight knock. Like, what? Who the fuck is this? I'm trying to sleep. My boy. We need to record, Jack! Dude, I ain't fucking around, man. My schedule has been shit, and all of you know it, so uh, I'm trying my yeah. best, but, uh... We just, we just shit it up on Yeah, you. we're just fucking shit it up on You know, I got a tweet recently that was like, Man, you're becoming worse than Jack, and then I was like, Okay, I gotta, I gotta fucking wear things up, man. You know what? I'm recording in the hotel for you bitches, and today... We're going to be talking about IW Zombies, and uh, at Codex P, we can give you guys the full detail, our full opinion, good or bad. This is not sponsored. Well, it is sponsored in a way, but it's like... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't sponsored, but, well. but we can give our full actual opinion on it. So that is why, if you guys clicked on this video, you're going to get my full opinion on IW Zombies. And the fact of the matter is that when we went to play it, at COD XP, you only were able to play each match for 15 minutes, which was kind of a bummer. Whack. It, it was, was pretty whack. whack, I'm gonna be honest, but for the 15 minutes, we optimized the shit out of that Just to clarify minutes. for this guy, <laughs> he got flown out here by Activision, but he's not getting paid to make any No, 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 no. This, is, this is not paid or anything like that, but when we played, uh, we played, who do we play with? We play, I played with you. Matt and Brandon Swifters. Yeah. So when we played, we all had to play four player and it was only for 15 minutes because they got to kick people off and let other people go on and stuff. And we played like eight Which games. Right? We could only get to round 10 or so. Yeah, every round game. 10 was the max round. It. Yeah, uh, we got to about, I don't know. We got everything open. We were able to look at uh, the whole map and just figure out player. yeah, what, what it was there and uh, from our thoughts, uh, what, do you, what do you want to start off with? Because there's there's a lot to go into. Um, it's quite different from Treyarch Zombies. Dude, I think one of the coolest things was the melees. Oh, I, I really oh, I cool. love it. Okay, so obviously every character, it's really weird, actually has their own melee. It's the same like the knife and Treyarch in terms of damage, but, but, there's, no um, knife anymore. but there's no knife. It's really weird because Andre, the, uh, the, the rapper, has the punch. He just punches <laughs> people. And then uh, you have AJ, who actually, like, at the start of the game, oh, he just I gets... Did, I said his name was Parker in my video. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> AJ has this bottle on his, uh, that he breaks yeah, on his bottle. head. And he just, like, hits people with his broken... <laughs> Dude, that went fun. right back. <laughs> Dexter <laughs> slaps. It was so funny. And Sally uses a fucking spoon. She just goes. Wah. That's honestly Wah. the weirdest one. Like, I why know. she got to carry? I don't this know. Spoon? It's uh, like she has these like really like satin black gloves as well with yeah. like a lot of lace. But uh, yeah, she's it's she's pretty funny. Hot. It's hot. <laughs> I made the power works on the map. So basically, they're spawn. There's a bridge, and then there's like a main hub area with this large teleporter. Again, we aren't actually allowed to show gameplay because we weren't allowed to record it. And in the main hub, there's like three branching areas. So the first one is Polar Peak with a big like ice looking ride called the Triton, I think. And then one area goes into something called Journey into Space, which is just a bunch of space rides. And then another area goes into the Kepler system which is uh, just another that. place. I don't know, I I tried to remember it. There's like a lot of stuff that I wanted to know. So there's like little generators. Yeah, so every, it's kind of like exo-zombies. Every little area has its own generator, but it cannot be turned off like an exo-zombie. Thank the fucking God. A lot of fucking <laughs> return on shit. The wall weapons weren't really like chalk outlines. They were just kind of weapons laying around yes, or you could pick them up from a statue or something like that. That was fun. Uh, there's my boy Neil. He's a robot. Uh, he he gives you like a bunch of weird challenges to do, and he gives you tickets once you do them. So you gotta the, find his head. You gotta put his head. All yeah, back on the on the on the thing, and it's, it's like in the you. main hub area, sort of thing or sort of thing. And um, once you find him, it's pretty funny because he just gives you a bunch of challenges, like kill ten zombies while jumping, and then you get tickets. And tickets are 
pretty goddamn good, man. Because oh, yeah. you can buy the wonder weapon in this map with tickets and things. Well, I'm, so I'm pretty sure. Pretty it's sure. It's 500 tickets, which is a lot mm -hmm. of freaking tickets. So it's gotta be something. And I think you have to go into like the journey into space area, and that's where the Astro Cade is. And once you're there, you can play a bunch of little mini games. And also in the Afterlife Cade, when you die, you can play like basketball. You can uh, do the bowling thing where you put it into the circles and stuff. It's, it's really weird, but it's a lot of fun. So tickets, there's a bunch of little vendors around the map, and there's like little grenades that you can get. There's one called Rewind, which is basically like glitches, uh, or Tempest's glitch ability in Black Ops 3 multiplayer, which is really cool. Uh, there's a bunch of them, like one throws out a black hole. Uh, what was the other ones? I can't really remember. They were just a bunch of special. Yeah, a bunch of special grenades, and you could buy can them buy for ammo tickets. Too. Yeah, ammo. Uh, sometimes even like the zombies drop a lot in this game. They drop like ammo. They drop cash. They drop even grenades. Sometimes even yep. special grenades. So that's pretty cool. And they also drop this system that's called souvenir coins. And there's three different colors: red, blue, or green. And there's these kind of I don't know what would you call the little. Uh, machines that they're in. They're almost like claw machines. Yeah, like the claw machines. And if you put in three different coins, then it'll give you a really cool item back. And I kind of think of them as like semi buildable traps or whatever. Like, yeah, like one thing. trap is like literally a fireworks trap that all these fireworks just go boom. Yeah. Don't mistake it for Black Ops 3 fireworks, but like actual goddamn fireworks and like a then pack of fireworks yeah and then there's one called like kindle pops where if you put at one of every color you just get this like candy box and you put it on the ground you shoot it and it ignites and then there's just a bunch of fucking it's kind of like a jerry can from left for dead and uh there's just a lot of little cool traps like that that are fun you can get a sentry gun from it if you put it in all blue different combinations yeah of, of coins so different traps. so there's i think nine combinations and every combination gives you a different thing which is really cool but one of my favorite parts about the map is every area i love how integral the music part of the map is Every area has the DJ in him, my boy Hasselhoff, and you can go up to him and ask him to change the song. It's so fucking cool. And there's like 20 songs or something. Yeah, like there's a lot of songs. There's a no, lot of like songs. They're like real songs too. Mm. Not even just like like you know, Final songs. Countdown was one of them. Like such a great 80s song. Probably Eye of the Tigers in there. Just a lot of crazy stuff. So I really liked how integral he is. He's just fucking chilling. He's yeah, just got he the microphone. Like, he was vibing. Bro. <laughs> It was so like, funny. No worries in the world. It was, it was a really funny thing. Um, but also on the map, there's a lot of perks. And one oh, perk yeah. that we would love to tell you guys about is Bomb Stoppers, which is PhD. Ooh! My boy coming back, baby. He coming back. Um, and there's no perk actually above uh, 3,000 points. Like, Speed Call in this map is named Quickies, Quickies. which is a funny name. It's 3,000 points. Mule Kick, I think it's called Mule Munchies. Mule Munchies. Yeah. And it's 2,000 points. So... That's, uh, cool. that's another thing. I still think I was saying in, in my video. I still think it's gonna be the worst fucking perk in the game. Mm -hmm. But at least it's cheaper. And also the thing, the greatest thing about this is that you can remove your perks if you don't want them anymore. Because I think the limit is still four. But if you don't want to have a perk for the whole game, you can fucking remove it and then get another one. Yep. Like um, from the perk names that I remember, Bang Bangs was called Double Tap. Up and Atoms was Quick Revive. Tough Nuff, Tough Nuff was uh, Juggernaug. Uh, the, what was the, yeah, right yeah, yeah, what was the mealy one? Um, oh, Slappy, Slappy Taffy. Taffy, basically kind of like Widow's Wine, but just for mealy, no Widow's, like, part of it. Blue Bolts was Electric Cherry, and there was only 1,500 points, which is just ridiculous. Racing Stripes? Yeah, Racing Stripes was Stamina Up, and there's just a bunch of perks. Uh, Trailblazers, my boy Banana Clatter, but as Fire is also in the map, I think, for just 1,500 points as well. There's, like, we found, like, 10 perks. Yeah, there are a lot of perks. There, There's nothing new in terms of perks, but for power-ups, they actually have two new ones. Infinite ammo, which we've seen in Exo Zombies, but also infinite grenades. And that's really cool because you can use your special grenades, you can use regular grenades, and it, that, I love that power-up. That's a, that's a really nice one. Map is quite big. Like, there's a bunch of teleporters that can help you go back to the main hub area. And apparently, the way you get to pack bunch is you turn on all the power and you go to the main teleporter and then you go into pack bunch. We didn't. Somebody we weren't did able that? to get there. Yeah, someone was able to do that, Damn. but we weren't able to get there. Uh, that's just from what we've heard. And other than that, like 
the weapons we found were really cool in the box. Like, were you the one to get the axe, or yeah, was that dude, bad? I got the axe. Oh, like, that how was, was that? That was, dude, it was better than any other melee weapon that we've seen in Treyarch. Mm -hmm. and you could literally kill, like, three zombies in one hit. Oh, they my were, God. Like, you could take out a little... It was probably sword. similar to, like, the fucking Apothkin sword, which just has a mystery box Pretty weapon. Much. But it was closer to swords. The two ray guns, like, the face melter and the other one, I can't remember. Something with, starts with a D, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, they're giant ray Yeah, guns. they, you, they're buildables in the map. We just just couldn't find any of the parts uh just because we're probably fucking dumb but uh <laughs> they gave us a 15 minute limit. <laughs> yeah they gave us 15 minutes so that wasn't that wasn't really helpful but by the way we played it like multiple times yeah we, we played it like eight time, to ten 15 times. minutes yeah yeah, yeah. So that was a lot of fun. We were able to discover a lot. It's just that we weren't able to get power on in 15 minutes because in every main hub area, it, every door is 4,000 points and you can donate points to get into there. But it's 4,000 points. Like That's a shit ton of points just to get into one area. There's a bunch of doors in there. Yeah. Uh, the map is quite large. There is an ATM bank machine where you can actually share points with other people. It doesn't go across game like the regular bank, but you can actually deposit money on one side and then one of your friends can go on the other side and about to withdraw and pick up money. That's a really nice feature that they added. Fake cards. So it's a lot different, a lot more different than Gobble Gums. Basically how it works is it's like a specialist. So over time and all the points and kills that you get, it just keeps bumping up. And you can get your first uh, card by like what round three, round two, or earlier. Yeah, two like or really, really like 10 early. Kills in. Yeah, it's like ten kills, and you get your first card. And if you're just sitting around, just not getting kills, you will get the card eventually because it's just like the specialist. And once you get your card, you can switch through the five that you started in game with or that you chose before you went into the game. And then once you use all your cards, you have to go to a vendor and refill them. And you can only do that five times. And every time you refill them, it costs five thousand points. And I don't know, I really like that system because it doesn't make it too overpowered. And it also makes it so that you don't have to buy them every time, yeah, every time. I like so I, I like that. I really like that system. And you can also stack them as well. If you manage to refill it fast enough, you can have two cards up at the same time. And some of them are really different. Like one was able to give you like this really powerful ra rail gun sniper for like 30 seconds. Uh, there's another one. My buddy, that was really cool. It would yeah. give you your own health if your friend was like low on health or was about to die. Custom found, yeah, like in the afterlife cave, you can get it. It like expires if you don't go there fast enough. There's a bunch of little things on the map that I think are a lot of fun. It's just we weren't able to find any Easter eggs. There was a bunch of balloons that maybe if you pop them, they'd give you an Easter egg song or something like that. I don't know. It really feels like, I don't know if you agree with me, but it feels like they took the stuff that they know we like from Treyarch. Mm. And then they added a bunch of extra, like weird, weird shit. But oh yeah, shit that makes it fun. Yeah, no, I, I think, I think that's gonna be a great aspect to the map. The only thing I'm really scared of for this map is just basically how much depth it has. Because like right now, we were only able to play every game for 15 minutes, and you can't really find depth to a game mode in 15 minutes. From what we played so far, it was definitely a lot of fun. And I think there really isn't anything I can give it bad credit for. Just the depth. That's it. I don't know. There isn't. A, was Gotta there have that storyline. The mm -hmm. only thing story I didn't as well. like was the fact that the the box changed so many times. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was another thing. But that might have just been for when we played. Yeah, we hit the box like twice and it moved. It was just really weird. I'm not 100% sure because there's like a also, billion. Also, I don't think there was any character quotes when we were playing, was there? No, I heard a couple, but that was probably just at the start of the game. They probably weird. just didn't have them all in. The thing the map is gonna be a lot of fun there's a bunch of different traps it's a huge, lot of new dude. innovations it feels huge. huge yeah it's a huge map but i think you guys are gonna love it let's just hope that we can keep replaying it and stuff but thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy please make sure to leave a like i know i'm gonna come back to the regular videos where i do a bunch of dumb shit and just have a lot of fun but today i just want to give you guys my full opinion about iw i my give hotel it, room. yeah in, uh, in jack's hotel room but i think i'd probably give it like a eight out of ten or a nine just because i'm lacking that replayability of death but it still is quite a fun game mode thank you guys so much and we'll see you i didn't even I'll tell you guys to like the video thank you guys like the video i'm a <laughs> fucking solo i will see you in the next one <laughs> <laughs>